da 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 do 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 don't know what I'm gonna play do 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 don't know what I'm gonna do it sucks because I don't know what I'm gonna do gonna do yeah game of life has been taken out because it takes a two minutes run I mean you know considering this is a little device and not a Computer. Yes, computer. Okay, if you don't get that reference to a song, which would not me trying to do a copyright. It's just, it's not trying to copyright it. It's just, you know, whatever. Kind of did. Well, I didn't think about it until afterwards, but, you know, to be fair. So let's do this and see what happens. So, basically, where I'm at here is I believe I'm on the allied side if I'm not mistaken but it makes no difference because once again they have to screw me yay I'm being screwed by the way just just gonna put it up hey no problems Hey, I'm not getting any problems. Now, see, this is the base I want to take over since I'm not actually Soviet or Russian. The connection failed. Well, it's a good thing I'm still recording this. Yeah. I like it. It's a shame I can't do anything to it. Yeah, I kind of cheated. But this time, I, I, I just wanted to make damn sure I uh, I did enough to where I could get uh, the one side. So I'm actually going to... Um, see, what I had done was, yes, I went for the island. There's no other island available. And somebody might be uh, been lying about Vehicle the fast reporting. build speed because there is no fast build speed, you know, without going to turbo, turbo, power into turbo. <laughs> I'm such a loser because I like powering. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, I don't. Unit ready. And. The other thing about this is that, see, look, 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 look. You got this right here, and you got this over here. Damn, they're already almost gone. Damn, they've really been taken out, haven't they? And you've got me. This is where I started out with, and I left. Stop here, I got that over there. And, um, so in essence, you know, this is, this is where I'm at. I built the secondary base, except that I was, it's kind of stupid, really. I mean, the only reason to even have a secondary barracks, unfortunately, again, is if you're actually uh, taking over the other guys because it's the only unit, or, uh, facility that will um, load and train certain troops you do not have access to which absolutely makes no sense because hey, we can use uh, our military can use as much you know grenades as much as the other guy the United States can anyway 
But because they didn't want to get into the copyright laws and all that stuff, I'm guessing is the reason why they, they didn't want to get sued. It was because they did, that's why they just went on the Allies side. That's why we're, instead of calling this the United States of America. And see, what I've been hoping these guys would do, see, they, the, the enemy always makes the mistake of never making, they used to make airplanes. But the one thing I always know that they never make a, a deal of is the sub pin. I don't like if you were to go into campaign mode, you get the sub, you get them already doing the sub pin. And then technically speaking, it doesn't stop me from making whatever I'm making, which even though it's not the sub pin, which is the only way to get the subs, you know, or submarines. But, like here, what is it called? Okay, yeah, naval yard. We have a naval yard, which is the only way to build such ships as um, the cruiser, the destroyer, and the gunboat. Transport this for all, uh, because both sides can, can build those. Apparently, <laughs> but to get the, the one thing I don't really understand half the time is like why is it is the allies um or not allies but Soviets have just as much less power as we do or tech level. Uh, it's like I mean. Uh, and we know that this is set to 12, believe it or not. Um, wow, see, they don't even have any trucks left. <laughs> Once you take out all the tru trucks, they're pretty much dead in a, in a side mobile. That includes... Well, not me, necessarily. I mean... It depends on how much money you've got left over. And depending on whether or not if you have enough money to, you know, basically build another one of these or a truck. Because they always give you that, yeah, which is less than the factory itself. So it's random, by the way, for the prices. It's it's freaking nuts how they do that. It's, it's I don't know why they do it like that, but I've never heard of the military ever, you know, going down and up. Oh, hello. Hello, yellow. <laughs> that kind of right. Dude, where the hell are you going? I need you to come back over here and not and bother with that. I mean, seriously. It's like... <sighs> These guys also make a mistake of always going after each other instead of taking the time to build whatever they need to build. I mean, most of the damn time... Whoa, when did that happen? I know I didn't nuke these guys. Or I don't remember doing it anyway. But, see, pretty much, again, the trucks, the money tr is the way to go. Once you get rid of them completely, well, they're done. <laughs> Unless they got some more. I mean, they, they might. And that's the thing about the AI. It, they, ne they don't, if they make a truck, they, it's very rare that they do. All they ever make is, like, their, what they've got in hand. Like what I got, they got like basically what I have here. The one thing uh, you'll never see ever is even if I could get access to that, which I even I can't. Uh, it doesn't matter where I'm Soviet or allies, even though technically it's the United States, but let's not go there. Anyway, or other missing like uh, tanks and stuff, um, you know. It's just, it's just stuff that we're not 
able to get uh, I don't know about building there's probably like a side deal or something you could choose or something uh, I, I don't know to be honest and like there's troops that were missing so I don't think it's gonna be through beating this game to be honest with you I, I don't think you're gonna get it because it had to be some kind of trick or cold to implement them because otherwise you're not going to get them. It's like with the airfield here, aircraft victory. There are stuff that I can make, but even that has its limits because I don't have any more access to it no matter whether I'm as, I'm sorry, I should say as playing as because you can play one or the other you can't have both but although there is a code that can't have both but I'm not sure how that would work to be honest so I mean it's just better to take over what you can it sucks that this is what I got seriously in all fairness there should be at least a total amount of uh, two, get this, two allies, and two Soviets, which means I, out of those, it'll be only three AIs, and I'll be the only one that's going to be either Soviet, I mean, the other Soviet, or the other ally. That's about it. But I'm the, I'm one of the three al allies, which makes absolute to no sense. And this base is gone. Pretty much. You know, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to take out their damn... Th this thing here, it'll say enemy structure, so I'm not going to highlight it. I'm just going to tell you right now. It's going to be this. Allied Building Factory. If you're on the Soviet, it'll be Soviet Building Factory and it'll be highlighted. And I can't select it. And then there's an airfield that even I can't select without going through uh, building up my, uh, my helipad. The reason I didn't want to build the helipad is I've never... Because you're not supposed to have that before them. That you can have a submarine. Oh, jeez. Wow. I guess I was too late. And the only way to even clear the entire map without ever using a spy plane is you build an allied tech center. Which doesn't do beyond anything of, uh, you know, shooting a satellite that goes up into space and just drops a deal it's kind of like a BOMB but it it drops it upon all the clouds to, to um, you know basically dissipate where everybody's at including me which I don't have any idea if I'm showing up everywhere to them or anybody else is showing up to them all I know is pretty much um, that I guess they already know where everybody's at Pretty much, if they're, if they're AI. Um, and then after a while, I guess they do figure out they're where I'm at. But they can't get to me if I've only got one base all the way down here and yonder. But yeah, it don't hurt to have multiples of these. But it's kind of silly to do so. Um, I find it useless because... Oh, jeez. Yes, sir?
Sir? If you get your, your base built up enough, you can pretty much stay on there long enough. Construction complete. You, you think that... Construction you know, I guess it just depends on your Vehicle luck. Reporting. Missed out on it. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Affirmative. And now they're going to come after me. I think, right? Nope, that's just a damn thing. That's just a money truck. I don't know if it'll actually. The thing about this is that so far I'm not freezing up or nothing. So I don't know what's going on with my, uh, my other recorder. I never had such problems with it before. Well, sometimes it'll tell you, but it won't tell you that it, it don't always say it's an enemy vehicle. <laughs> It'll always tell you that over tanks, even if you have the same kind of tank, even though it may be a different color. So that's another thing about the AI. They never pick the same color. I mean, it might you might happen upon it randomly, but Awaiting orders. that's like a 0.1% chance, 0 0.0, you know. I don't know. Maybe I did get. Maybe I did accidentally unlock fast build. But it must be something you have to do to get it. Because I, I did begin to even understand how it even works. I don't know. And the fact that everybody's so backed up is. There's just like no point in even using. Even using this. See, wow, I used it. I mean, if they had more on their base, and including these guys, it, there might be a point to that, but there isn't. And I'll tell you what, I didn't want to have to make that, but I guess it just depends on what your luck is in this game. Vehicle reporting. I've never seen an act like this before. But then again, I'm happy to get what I'm getting. And they, they need to build some SAM sites or something over here. They're out of trucks. I mean, you know. Which is odd because, see, every time I would go over there. I don't know, maybe it was my recorder that was stopping them or something because, you know. I've never seen it act like that before. I've seen it where it will attack like SAM sites and stuff like that, but for some reason. I'm not afraid to lose it because I got plenty of money. Building. Now you might be saying, thinking, why did you attack that instead of attacking something else? Because I'm trying to get their attention to build a couple of at least. Uh, well, they don't have to build the SAM sites. I'm not really worried about the SAM sites. As I am build the ones them will building a a heli helipad and airfield. Actually, no, I'm not worried about that. What am I talking about? 
It's a helipad. What am I talking about? I could build a helipad if I take over. It's just, you know. So, in essence, I would say that this game does not compute. From what I remember, this game has never been one to. Vehicle reporting. Shit. Affirmative. There it is. Ore truck. Okay. Okay. See, it doesn't always say ore truck. I couldn't remember what the name of it was either. Go ahead. Kill it. I don't care. It's not like I don't have money to replace it. Vehicle reporting. I probably should be re absolutely sacrificing ones that don't have a helipad. See, the problem is, though, what you don't realize is that there is a place within the land, specifically. Which is these. You know, it's a service depot. It's actually a place that, that uh, fixes things. But what it does not do is reload your helicopter or any other thing. Even other things that are in here that I could normally build, like a yak attack plane, a MiG plane, which has got missiles. If they don't do that, but what they will do, I believe we can get them too, yeah, both sides can get the mine layer. Yeah, it's the only way, it's the only thing that ever, ever gets refilled up for ammunition. But it's a uh, service depot, which is crazy because you would think the service depot would obviously, you know... Take the chance and go, okay, so I can, you know, refill your airplanes too, right? Yep, you sure can. I mean, it's not to say that they can't land on the ground. They shouldn't be there. It's just they shouldn't be there if they are next to enemies. Not a good idea. Yeah. The reason I'm not attacking the money trucks as well is because it also gives them the opportunity to build. And then, and you see the reason why the, these are coming back is because I have ore regrow. If I didn't have ore regrow on, which you can select to turn off if you want to, which makes it just a, just a bit more easier. And instead of just... Uh, taking the chance to take over at least one base that's what you should always do if you're the opposite makes it more that's what the whole point of this objective is, is not to, I mean, to survive and take over uh resources and then wipe out the rest of the enemies mainly i mean you can i mean you can obviously alternatively just take out everybody if you have enough forces but it helps you get more forces up if you have help from the other side. The only other way to do that is if you take over the base. And how you do that? You got to have these guys. At least a maximum of four because what that does... Well, actually, three will take it down a notch. But that way, in case you're low on money... You can just take the use the air engineer and get a free one without having to use money for it. Even though you're already spending money, why spend money on top of it? And once again, it's another thing that's going to be costing you different money. It's random how they have it. It's pre-selected. It's crazy how they do that because ultimately, I wouldn't think that they would do that this way, but they do. I've never heard of the military... 
uh, doing that randomly every time they set out like okay well all right today in our our, our fun little excursion because we have set up with the enemy we're gonna charge about a thousand dollars for this tank and 600 for this one oh 900 for that one and then the next time oh um all right this one here is only gonna cost you one dollar okay i don't think i've ever heard seen that but this is this is an example but I know for a fact that I've seen six hundred and a thousand. Jeez. But anyway, and then the next time, and then the next tank will be whatever and for whatever they have. And then, you know, it, it's crazy to think we have such weird pricing for the military. But see, again, even though I have this the nuclear capability. Which no side should ever have because that is dangerous as hell. I would definitely think that uh, they would have had, at least by now, a helipad. I mean, I mean, as much as they have these guys here, the uh, the other allies, you know, it just ain't worth throwing a deal at them. I'm not gonna throw nuclear bill dillies at them if they ain't got enough crap to defend themselves with. I mean, that's kind of stupid. I mean, really. I mean, you know, if you want to do it, hey, by all means, do it. I mean, psh, I ain't going to stop you. You know, but speaking, of course, I don't know what the difference between red and green is for the, uh, for the Soviets, you know, back when we had to fight them. And that is a real thing. It's just for the United States. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a target. Not that it matters. A bomb launch detected. There you go. I should just sell it off because, uh, for whatever reason. Uh, if you ask me, if I want to make this fair enough, I'd make it so that nobody could have uh, that capability because, you know, it doesn't give, it doesn't give you an opportunity to, to build up your base and, and, and build and buy and just like build buildings and stuff like that, you know? You know... Especially, like, if you want to see the enemy at least get all the way up to the sub pin. Although, the good thing about it, I want to say, is that you don't have to... I think I've said this before, but you never have to worry about taking over the sub pin. In real life, we had to. Really? And anyway, but the good thing about it as well is that with these guys, see, I mean, what you don't realize is that just because I'm attacking them defensively doesn't mean I'm absolutely going out of their trucks. It's just like if my trucks go invade in theirs, which makes more sense. And that's the reason why you don't want your, your trucks going into the enemy base. I mean, they don't even have to have this. I forget what they're called. I think they're flamethrower towers. But anyway. You know. As long as they got this. Or troops and, or, and tanks. Yeah, I mean. 
See, that's the dumbest thing. They're going to send their damn enemy, their soldiers over at me just because I was defending my base. I've never done that in my life. You know, I don't I don't go after their base just because they took out my damn thing but when it's going to their base. The only thing I've ever done, to be fair, is take out their troops while they were out there attacking mine. That's it. You know, otherwise I really could care less, honestly. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to survive not one an inch. I mean, this is just a small base. Yeah, go ahead. Come on in. It's just that I'm defending my base. I mean, you know, what do you expect when you get close to my base? I mean, although, to be fair, I don't know why you would want to attack an, a money truck. When a money truck, it doesn't really attack your base. It might be helping them build up to attack you, but it, that's just it. That's what its job is supposed to do. That's the dumbest thing in history. But, uh, you know, it's it's like a a two sword or whatever you call it, two edged sword. If you don't have the offenses up and they come in and attack you, then you're screwed. And the thing is, they are this game comes with um you can't tell. You come already pre long ordered with you know, tanks and stuff. You don't have to wait for it to be built. You know. <laughs> Nor do you have to wait for tr for Troops to be trained, which is pretty good. The unfortunate thing is that if you want Tanya, which is never a soldier I've never heard of in the the most outpost of the world, I've never heard of a soldier named Tanya, nor a Stavros. I've heard of snipers. You know, people with different guns and stuff that we've had throughout each military, whether it was Soviet or United States of America. So, in essence, uh, yeah. Anyway, you'd have to wait for her, for them to be, well, at least her to be trained. Now, as far as Stavros is concerned, or a soldier like him, because, um, well, you know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, StarCraft, and I say that because there are absolutely special units you can actually have, but you can't like train them. But in this game, though, uh, um, I don't know. Maybe you can train Stavros. I don't know. But the thing of it is, is that again, I without having to. Absolutely, go through the entire game, which can be hard to do because of the the one Stavros mission you absolutely have to suffer through. It sucks. Even when, even if the controls are working just fine, that mission is like a broken mission. I'm not kidding. It's all a matter of luck. Not a matter of whether or not you know how to beat it or, you know, whatever. It's that you gotta you gotta take the time, run through it, and yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean I don't know if you can unlock things, but you would think that even in here you there would be a way or there would be cheat codes somewhere. If not 
something you could download than something you could take from a game shark and put it in here and implement it. You would think so. You would think so. I mean, I don't know about extra buildings or anything like that kind of thing, but at least, uh, you know, troops that we don't have access to. I'd love to get the the access to doing both sides, if you know what I mean. Because, uh, yeah, you do. I mean, what the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, basically, without having to take over the thing. And so far, I have not seen a thing like that. Ever. Which. Ultimately sucks. But by the way, I thought I. <clears throat> oh, I could have sworn I, I selected a, uh, yeah, Good a morning. destroyer, but that didn't happen. And what I chose was a, a cruiser, which you wouldn't think a cruiser would necessarily be with, you know, weapons, but then again, I don't know. Maybe hidden weapons, I guess. I don't know. Yes, sir. So, again, the unfortunate entity is that they are not building. Affirmative. That, which I seek. Are you crazy? Go ahead, kill it. Yay. What? You sold a damn Tesla? Oh, jeez. I had to wake up the wrath. Oh boy. Okay. Select target. Just as long as you start building a freaking thing, I don't care what I need. That's it. All I'm asking for you to do is one more thing before I continue on. And that's the helicopter that I know you can make. Detected. I don't care if you had to. Well, the. You know. And I can definitely take over and make the airfield and uh, the yak attack and the, the mega plane or whatever, you know. <laughs> it's the damn airplane that they, you know, they're their helipad that I can't make. Which sucks. That's what I mean by I wish I could have it because then I could automatically, if I did that, you know, I could automatically, automatically build it without having to worry about it. Because... I know that if you were to stretch out your resources and stuff like that over here, you could put just about anything that's needed here. You know, the unfortunate thing is, that I've seen so far, is that there is a special type of building. Awaiting order. It only the Soviets have access to. And it's the one thing you need to build the mammoth tanks with. The unfortunate thing is as well, is that what they don't even have to build it. The AI never has to build it to, to <laughs> make a mammoth tank. I always had to build that. Well, I mean, I only... Well, at least one, anyway. I don't have to keep building one after another, but... At least one every time I play through it. You know, which... Sucks, because... That don't make a sense. Why is it that the AI gets to have... You know, access to stuff... That I don't have access to without building certain in, in you know deals 
I mean, I know that most of it has to be done for them to, like, if they need a, a yak attack plane and whatever else, like the, uh, oh, what are they called? Attack all you want to. <laughs> See, the thing is, they're slowly making progress into making dogs, and that's it. See, again, one of those things I could already have if I had a damn well taken over the base. Well, however, I'd have to take down their damn Tesla coils and flame towers and... Well, now, I don't have to take out the power plants, but, you know, I'd have to stop them and then take over this, you know, if I wanted that. You know, and the thing is, I can't even make their troops, you know without taking over this. Just like the same thing with their tanks. I have to have at least first access to their structure. I can't just make it on their side. I wish I had that ability. Which sucks. I don't know why they're not building another damn what the hell are they doing? Hey, go ahead, come after me. I'm not the one who's coming after your your base. Jeez. You know, and if you can't get to their base, the one base that actually matters, and most of it, you know, and get them to basically build what's necessary, then you might as well abandon the game. By that, I mean, you know, just either abort it or just wipe them out. Either way, they're gone. Because it's just completely freaking useless. I got my place pretty much well defended in case they decide to come in here. You know, they ain't gonna come through here unless they want to fight that. I mean, <laughs> and I could have my guys do that, but you know what? I don't really care. And half the damn time, it, it they whenever they bring out their troops, they're missing out on resources. What they ought to do is. If they were smart enough, I mean, it's smart enough to take, don't get me wrong, to get troops over there to protect your, what you might call it, your ore truck. But you, what you don't want to do is have them standing on ore. So what you do is you got to obviously get to know the area and put your troops there. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. I mean... You know, any smart AI would know that and would think to do that instead of just surrounding the ore truck, you know, keeping it from getting the ore. It's there. Because every time you do that, you're missing out on ore that you could have already had 
you know, such rebuilding and replacing the No, stop. No, damn it. Okay, we're already having problems here. <sighs> I hate you. Damn flies. If it ain't damn flies, it's my controls, or it's me. Construction complete. Anyway, what was I saying? Awaiting order. So basically, very well. Yeah, you know, just kind of surround the areas where the ore is not, so that they don't, you know, get in the way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so and I couldn't tell you if it matters or not uh, ultimately if you take them all out on your own even if there's so little lift the base damn bastard anyway so because uh, half the damn time even if you could defend yourself you're not going to make it in time to take them out. And that's on any map. It doesn't matter where they are located at. It matters of whether or not. You know, so, I mean. I don't know if that counts against you or not. So far, the, the ranking system has not been affected by... Uh, whether or not, which is a good thing, whether or not you go ahead and take out the AI, whether they, you know, I mean, obviously, you're going to have to wait until you have enough troops, otherwise you can't just take them down in one shot, no matter how many troops you already start out with. I think there's a maximum of 12 units they give you to start out with. Um, you can select how many you want to. Which sucks. And by the way, I did set this up for 20 seconds to, re you know, before I could record again. You know, like, once you buy 20 seconds, give you time. See, what I don't get as well is that, like, they're, they're kind of slow to respond. I mean, at least with me, it's understandable because I can't multitask. The AI can multitask more than I can. Even for one small enemy. You know, I wish that all the bases would give them chan the, themselves a chance to basically build up and, and, you know, basically do what they gotta do before they go after each other, including me. There's never been a tag team. I mean, the only time that they ever tag team is when they... You know, it's not really a, um, well, they can't hurt each other so much as that they can, you know, basically, basically do, all at once. Even if they're using the Soviets as well as them, or, you know, all three of them decide to come up against me, you know, whatever I am, shit. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. And the one, the game you do not want to go yes, with. And that's if you uh, absolutely want to take your time and try to get to the other side. Because both sides have good aspect ratios. Like, okay, you have good defenses. What is your Teslas? Your... Fire tanks, I can't remember what they're called now. I had to take over the base. If I don't wind up taking over the base, I'll just do that. Whoa. Looks like we got somebody else who wants to get in there. Nope, oh, it's just an ore truck. Okay, good. I'm not worried about ore trucks. But, like, the turrets, a pillbox, and the camel pillbox, 
those are good defenses, as well as these, um, these right here, you know, and both sides, believe it or not, absolutely have this. They have, they both have Tanya's and Spies. I'm not sure how to unlock Spy for both sides, but I know for a fact they do. Not sure about the thief or the mechanic. I know both sides have access to the medic, but you know it's a matter of when to get them. I know that they have both access to this engineer and rifle infantry. Infer um, but as far as these, no, they don't. Both sides don't have any access to uh, these particular tanks, like the uh, art artillery, light tank. The artillery is kind of kind of. Kinda, not, but not fully the same as the, uh, the missile tank. The one that just throws missiles. I forget what they're called. But, uh, um, the difference is, is that it, like, it just shoots grenades at the enemy through its steel. Or, like, some sort of explosion. The Ranger and the APC kind of do the same thing. But we're the only side that actually has these. And yet, we're the only side that gets a, a chrono tank. Which is the... Which makes no sense. You know, but whatever. It's like almost the same thing... As a... Uh, a mega attack point. We, what we'll never have is, well, I mean, unless you consider, I guess, unless you consider the APC and the Ranger, then, yeah, maybe you might have the same thing as the Yak Attack plane. The only difference is, is we're not flying, you know? You're not able to fly over there. Although, since you're talking about this game, it still takes as much time as it would to travel over there. The only difference is, is that tanks cannot get you unless you have, like, a mammoth tank, which is the only one that can get airplanes. And that's just tank-wise. Troops has to be... Um, these guys, rocket soldiers. And I put the S there, being plural, meaning more than one. You know, rocket soldier is one at a time that can only be trained. But, anyway, the more you have, the more you can defend your base. Another defensive weapon that I know for a fact, I don't think we've ever had the AA gun, I could be wrong, but I know for a fact we've had SAM sites. Um, but either way, SAM sites and AA guns are pretty good. They're, they're good for, for defense. This is not. Not ever. This is good for defense, but apparently, I guess both sides have the Chrono Sphere. I think. I'm not going to swear to that. But anyway, there is a building. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out. If they don't get to making this damn helicopter that I know they can make. I don't care if they don't make Sam sites. Just make a freaking helicopter! You dumb jackass. It's literally, even though the tech level is at 12, what should, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, give them the capability of having nukes too, which, you know, as well as having the sub pin and whatnot. I mean, literally, they could have already had the sub pin. And frankly, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if you build it or not. I mean, ultimately, you want to go ahead and do that if you want to go ahead and get this. But you want to get it before, and I mean before, you absolutely wipe out the enemy. Even if it's, there's one remaining, you know. 
which means you'll have to absolutely if you don't have this you can't get it you gotta have this a construction yard or what is it called a excuse me a uh, mobile construction vehicle that will turn into that so that you can have that and then you gotta have at least this right here this uh, or refinery because it'll give you a better chance to, to gather it in time and all that because you have more of a chance to get in that than it would be anyway uh, wiping out all the enemy anyway and it's pretty much luck based anyhow oh wow is that the reds holy crap they're really going after the blues <laughs> can't blame them though okay really guys really you don't need tanks and troops that close at this point I'm not worried about it and I know we've always had reinforcements but the thing is <laughs> I don't care what they do. My damn business I can't even I can't even really get over there anyway I don't have much in the way of troops come on kill it damn it Stop dodging. <laughs> this is like going to take forever. Because of... Damn, will you stop dodging? Or is this a dance off so you can still get shot at while this guy is dodging you? Oh, come on. You should have been able to run him over. How are you invincible? Okay, let's take out this. Leave that damn truck alone. Jeez. Truck didn't do anything to you anyway. On the plus side, there is no ore down here that they can grab. If there was ore down here, we'd be screwed. Not to say we wouldn't be screwed anyway, but, you know, as far as, like, you know, having, you know, ore trucks that run through my base because there's, there would have been ore... And that's what the problem is, is because they're, they're so, you know, drawn towards, uh-huh, 
I knew it. You're coming after me. Ooh. Oh, am I supposed to be scared? Oh, God. Oh, no. You're going to attack me when my when my things are going to attack you at the same time. Oh, no. What will I ever do? Yeah. Idiot. But seriously, though. <laughs> That, that's what drags them in there. I mean, I can't blame my trucks for going through enemy territory. I'm, I'm not going to ever get mad at them. Because they're programmed to go after ore. That's their main primary target. Not to run over soldiers, but they can't help it if the, tar if the targets come underneath them. You know, that's just the thing. They're not here to, you know, they're not, you can't really destroy an entire base. If you do, you'd be, you had to be completely freaking lucky to even bother. You're like, okay, let's say a truck could even manage to get through, it'd have to go through it, it enough to make it that where everything goes through and destroys everything there is, if there's anything left in there, like, you know, them kind of tanks and stuff that's in there going after it and all that. Or, you know, because every time they shoot, it always goes off in different directions. You know, it's like it has splash damage. You know. Basically, they can harm and or attack their own buildings I will personally never go for that because it's it's a basic suicide mission because you know how many attempts that would take too many way too many attempts to do it to do it because I mean unless you can get it in one shot but even then you'd have to I don't know may I I would guarantee to you, if it just happens without it ever happening, I guarantee to you, you still have to run into it, because chances are, luck will not always have it be that you run through there with your ore trucks and not get them destroyed by Teslas and or, or uh, cannons and stuff. I mean, literally speaking, of course, the ore trucks... Or not the problem. I mean, except for when they don't stay away from there. And it's not their fault. It's because, you know, it's not your fault either. What it is is that, <laughs> nor is the enemy's fault for attacking them. Their program, their defenses are there to attack whatever comes in. That's why they set up them there. It's like if I were to go and immediately attack an little military base right now anywhere in the world, regardless of whether it's America or anywhere else. Uh, I mean, I don't know about if I was an ore truck necessarily, but I do know that if I were just going in there as an enemy soldier with guns on me, yeah, you're pro no doubt they're going to attack me. I mean, it's my fault for even bothering to go in there. Pointless, really. I mean, this is so kind of near the real, the real thing that it ain't funny. I don't really like real things, but... Hey, you know, I do enjoy... The reason I do enjoy it is because I can build and take my time. If I want to. And it depends on where and how I survive it on, during the map. Like if it's a specific map. And I don't mean campaign mode. I mean in skirmish mode. Like if I decide if I can just uh, hold out long enough against the enemy. As a, you know, I'm just, you know, arbitrarily randomly come after me. And I say randomly because they got other people to fight against. Affirmative. If there are more than one AI. Or basically more than one enemy. 
then, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, depending on it, or if I decide I just want to go all the way down here, I can just do that and gain all the ore here, because there's just like, there's rare ore on here, and in fact, to be fair, it's all over the place, but the difference is the enemy can't get to it because they refuse, absolutely refuse to make anything to come down here. And in order to do that, you also have to have, I forgot to mention, you have to have a transport vessel. Yes, no matter what the cost, you have to make it. Because no matter how long it takes, you have to make it in order for that to happen. I mean, if you can't tell, okay, this is the process. You gotta, you gotta kind of build up your base a little bit, and then, um... You have to build yes, a transport Open. vessel and try to, to build some kind of defenses, whatever you gotta do. Regardless of whether or not you decide to sacrifice anything, because and it depends on how badly the enemy comes after you. You know, like how much and how much force they're gonna come in after you with like if they got enough to wipe you out with, oh god, you better make damn sure you're prepared. And if you wait long enough, I've sat there and wait long enough, like, wait, 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 what am I supposed to do? And I start building, and then, oops, it's too late, I'm already wiped out. But again, if you play your cards right, basically, if you were to, um, that's what I'm looking for, defend, defend yourself long enough, you can absolutely, um, you know, do that. If you don't, you don't have to go out to that island, but it gives you a better chance to recuperate your forces because they, it also has ore down there. And what you want to do is you definitely want ore to grow. Because if you don't have ore to grow, let me tell you, the enemy's going to wipe you out. Especially because it doesn't matter if they've already got it or not. I would always suggest that you come to here anyway. Get ready to you know, be prepared to come all the way down here anyway. And there are only certain ways you can come down here. And once you get that mobile, you get it down here. You might have to, to uh, put some power plants down, depending on whether or not you've cheated or not. The only worthwhile codes I know of are infinite power. Uh... Yeah, silos are not worth. You can you can you can make those at any given time. It's not even that that I'm worried about. Construction complete. And you might want to consider also not putting them around the base unless you've got an open up area where they can. Construction and not complete. the base, but the the building that you have. To, well, you know. Because you got to make sure that your trucks can get through. You know? I mean, I could put one here and protect it. Building. You know? Construction complete. The reason why ore silos even exist, let me, let me tell you why they exist. If you don't know this, it's because they get to a certain Building. point. Um, Construction complete. It's basically where they gotta dump the extra stuff into, um, you, you don't have to build like several of them, but ain't enough for a while. Like these buildings right here, they can only fill up to so far, and then that's it, they're done. Um, and then it stops. Um, normally, I mean, you can get it to go a little bit higher than that, um, if you cheated, obviously. But again, you know, you can st it gives you more of a chance to take down. I, I would never go for, like, Select target. infinite health in this game. Cause, of course, I, I don't think there is one, but, you know. And let me tell you, though, half of the damn time, it ain't... The chronosphere is not worth it. Unless you want to 
absolutely, and I mean absolutely, use it once per vehicle or building. It does not protect your troops, so it's only useful in that regard. I mean, other than that, because you can basically make your, you know, your troops completely invincible. So, that's a plus side. So what I'm waiting on ain't happening, so I guess I'm going to have to take these fuck nuts out, because they're being a bunch of a-holes. I mean, seriously. What I want to do here... Awaiting orders. Oh, jeez. I had to go and say how good it was, didn't I? All right. I'm just going to take these devs out. The ones that's doing exercises are the only ones that are absolutely either engineers or grenaders. Never a soldier. I like them because they can they can fire very far a distance. The only thing is, is they can't far, they can't well, a distance long enough. But the problem with that is, as well as that they keep hitting the wrong damn target. I don't want them hitting trucks or anything like that. And sometimes they ignore me, which I've never seen them do that before. But I know for a fact that they can absolutely destroy certain things. And again, I guess I'm just going to have to take you out, aren't I? I'm having such good luck with these dumb motherfuckers. Let me tell you right now. Oh, what am I sitting at? Ooh, 28. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh. Oh, well. Damn phone. Anyway. Thank you all for watching for those of you who have. Anyway. I'll see you all in the next video. Whatever that is. Bye-bye.